Is there anything in the World Tanks Blitz shop that is currently worth spending your money on? Well, no. But there are a few things that could be considered, so let's get into those. These bundles here could be better if they would include something useful instead of customization containers. However, today is a premium 22k gold. There are better bundles out there, like, for example, something like this, where you essentially only have useful things like premium time gold and also the gold boosters. If you can use this within seven days, you can make a lot of credits, you can get some useful stuff. But with these, the problem with extras like this is that most of the time they essentially stop you from getting real value and give you that. And the Colossal Progress, they include a lot of creds. 10 million, it's about enough for one tier 10 plus equipment, so not really that amazing in terms of creds. 180 days of premium is obviously quite a lot, so it really depends. Do you need an absolute unreal amount of creds? If so, I guess, but then it is still better to grind that those credits out with a good premium tank. Good premium tanks, that's not what this bundle is, or whatever it else is supposed to be, because might I remind you again, unfortunately, of the T-77 and KV-5 for 10,000 gold. Two of the best tier rates in the game that cost 10k. Here you get a mediocre tier 8 light tank and a tier 7. So, for 1,000 gold less, you also get collect them alls, which are one of the worst types of containers in the game. You get camouflages, you get times fives that apply to the vehicles that are not even unlocked. The LT-432, again, it is a very mediocre light tank. It somewhat duels itself with a T-54 lightweight in terms of performance. Not really worth much. And this thing is a tip 7. I already covered the 777 in a video of its own, and essentially the summary of that is, it's a good tank, but it's a bit too expensive. Next we have the, huh? That's not the Object 752. The Object 452. Yeah, it's not the 752, and it's not worth buying because of that, because you can get the 752, which is a lot better than whatever this thing is, and t the value proposition generally isn't that amazing, and especially with this vehicle being fine, but generally not worth buying. The 5.5k gold bundle is a great thing, if it were to include a good vehicle, such as, for example, it did one time, the Tiger 88 or the Lerbe, not something like the FCM 50T and the mystery boxes. And it doesn't even include 30 days of premium time, because, hey, if this bundle right here would include 30 days of premium time, like the other 5.5Ks would, then it would be a great bundle to purchase, because you can sell this vehicle for 3,750 gold, so you could get a great value out of that. But, because you can sell it for 3.7k gold, and the rest of this thing here is... Not really that great, and especially the times fives are also locked. If they were unlocked, that would again be a very good reason to buy this bundle, because you can get a lot of the gold back by selling the terrible FCM. It would be great, but adding 30 days of premium to this bundle would make it good. And that would be bad to sell. The Type 62 is a great fun tier 7, but it's first of all a tier 7, and second of all, this is 11 euros or a tier 7 that, again, as always, gets you less damage and less credits than a tier 8, making kind of pointless. And vehicles like the M41D, and I believe this thing have also been given away free in the past, kind of making it a bit pointless to purchase. It does have an interesting camo with it. I don't recommend it unless you really just don't know what to do with your money. You could give it to me. Well, actually, don't do that. Give it to something useful. And this can be a very fun vehicle, especially with its high premium penetration and good mobility. You can zip around, can do a lot of damage. It's a fun tank. Already mentioned the Lerbe in the 5.5k bundle, so here it is again. There are better bundles that include the Lerbe. The Skoda T27 is fine. Not great. It's not a must-have. And as always, you exactly know what I'm going to say now, because that opinion will never change, because it's essentially the only valid one to hold in this regard, and that is open your free containers and ignore all of the paid containers in its entirety. Because here's the thing. The grand surprise is now new, and... I initially thought, I read all the tanks up here, and I was like, wait a minute, can you get a tank for six euros? And I opened it, and I was like, oh, you get a crate. Disappointed! These, these have 20% drop chances in them, so they're not as terrible as the majority of crates, but they're still crates, so we will most likely not get anything of value in them. And do you want to spend 60,000 gold, which is the equivalent of 180 euros, to get 
the KPZ-68, which is uh, mid at best. Then there's the Lycan draw. Now, normally I be Lycan the Lycan because it's a good tank, but in this case, it's a draw, so I don't be Lycan the Lycan draw. You might think that crates are bad, but no, lockboxes are even worse because the marketing tricks used to sell you these are even worse, and there's even less in them. You get the box put into your inventory, which means you already have half the thing, so buying the key to open the box you already have doesn't seem that bad of an idea, but at the end, you get even less value out of the box. So, yeah, they're, 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 don't buy that. The SDRVK is a solid vehicle. But in this case, absolutely not worth it. These crates are back. You have an 80% chance at 2,000 gold and a 20% chance at this vehicle, which is very solid. It doesn't have any DPM, but it is quite solid tier 8. If you want to do it, I don't really... like. Th these are like the least terrible of gambling offer. It's still gambling, which is still terrible, but the value is at least there. You don't end up with common boosters, at least. This is the worst part of making Blitz videos having to play Blitz. Now let's get into a battle with the 401k, because that's what you should spend your money on instead. But this thing is a very curious case, because even though the turret armor is very good and the upper plate is also very well sloped, the lower plate is incredibly massive and the lack of gun depression kind of makes it somewhat difficult to play this vehicle hull down all too well. And they also have the Object 752 and the K81, which both are better vehicles than this tank, making it kind of somewhat pointless. And there is the perfect example of why win rate statistics don't actually make any sense unless you compare them between vehicles that are actually equal. The XM66F. So, no, it isn't the best tier 10 in the game. That's not how stats work. Now, this vehicle, it doesn't even perform that well statistically. We're all good there. But that's not good. Look at the minimap, people. Because if you look at the minimap, you know that you have two fat Germans in your ass. You should also... You should know it before you feel it, ideally. Because if you feel it, that's when it's too late. So now we're going to have a look at the XM66F here, ideally. Because those two guys are going to chomp through the yaw. There's the 183 who's most likely camping up there. Which means I can't push forward. And uh, that is very not good. Because we got three guys here. Yes, there is very much a 183 in the back. And I don't think that this is going to be a one battle, to be honest. Because the simple set up here and the 66F just camping in a corner so my goal is gonna be to try and farm as much damage as possible no longer trying to play for win or position but instead now getting myself into a spot where I can extract maximum damage and that is the existential calculation of all tank splits is that once you realize that a game is no longer likely to be won then you change from trying to play for winning to trying to play as damage farming as you can because the damage farming might lead to a win but if it doesn't lead to a win that will at least result in a good result for yourself so let's now see if i can get some damage out of this thing because otherwise there's not going to be anything good going on the 183 is obviously going to go down these two guys are not in a great position because the 66 f is gonna rain down on them with the quite high dpm of that vehicle so now uh yeah what can i do shoot the vk who's just giving me his front track wheel, which I appreciate. I'm gonna have to get in this ditch here, because then I might be able to use the, the turret armor against the Super Conk, even though they can penetrate the cupolas on top of the vehicle. So... I'm gonna also try to avoid... Well, the Super Conk is gonna be able to reload. So... He's probably gonna try to face hug. I don't know why he's not trying to face hug me completely, but he's gonna be out reloading these anyway, so... That doesn't really matter. So, yeah. The vehicle is... oval average. Perfect cut there. The vehicle is oval average. And the game... Ain't no fun no more. At least in this matchmaker. But that gets reversed soon. The moral of the story is... Don't buy this vehicle.